My name is Lee Bickmore, and the course that I teach online is Linguistics 220, Introduction to Linguistics. I've been teaching Introduction to Linguistics here at the University of Albany for about 15 years, and I always try to make the class better. I'm really interested in teaching and pedagogy, so I thought an opportunity to do the class online would be an interesting challenge for me. Also, you hear a lot about online teaching. Some people really think it's great, other people don't. And I thought, I'd like to find out for myself exactly what it would be like to take this course that I know well and put it in an online framework. So when I do the online course, I do a lot more assignments, a lot more assessment activities, but a lot of them are smaller, but it gives the students a chance to feel like they're understanding it or they're not, and then they can do what they need to do to get back on board again. So students are always working on something, even if it's not big, and they're getting a, a more immediate feedback than they do in the face-to-face -face course. In a face-to-face -face class, you'll often have a number of students who don't say a word the whole semester. Um, that won't happen in an online course. They're emailing you. They're participating in discussions, they're telling you the things that, that, that they've done and answering questions and submitting assignments. And ultimately, I think we want our students to be able to both um, be able to express themselves well um, interpersonally and also to be able to do it in an online framework because um, in the real world, both of those skills are necessary. I tell all the students at the very beginning of the course that I would like them to use academic prose um, in all of their writings. And so I want to play my part in, in, in helping them um, develop those skills. Writing is something that if students develop well here will serve them well through the rest of their life regardless of what their major is. Having discussions is a very important part of online courses. And students really love the discussions when you ask them later about what they liked about the course. They like the online discussions. Choose interesting topics. Um, every discipline um, has potentially very interesting things. If you pick a very dry topic that students don't find interesting, then they're not going to be real happy having the discussion. It's going to be kind of like pulling teeth. There's a lot of interaction that happens between the student and the instructor throughout the full course, and I feel like I really do get to know my students very well, even though I'm not seeing them in person. And the nice thing about the online course is that um, students should be able to successfully complete it um, no matter when they're online. They can be online late at night or early in the morning. As long as they're there every day, they can do this. So it's a matter of thinking through exactly what you want to get the students to know, and then getting them there in a way that's optimal within the online environment.